Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 42, Subgrid 4 Metadata. In tip number 37, I provided a high-level overview of entity and web form metadata. In this tip, I'll dive a bit more into the subgrid type of form metadata. When a subgrid is configured on an entity form or a web form step, the subgrid form metadata gives you options similar to what you'd get if the subgrid was an entity list. Specifically, you get the grid configuration area, allowing you to add buttons and configure the look and feel of the list. Once you've selected the type of subgrid, and then selected the subgrid that appears on your form from the dropdown, the grid configuration area will load. You can add buttons for list level actions, like create, download, or associate, and buttons that appear for each record in the list, like edit, delete, or run a workflow. You can also override the properties of the columns that appear in the subgrid, like the display name and the width. As I mentioned in my last tip, don't forget about the options that appear once you enable advanced settings. Here you'll see the ability to configure many of the labels that appear throughout the UI. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 42 on subgrid form metadata useful.